Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Roblox video tutorial. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a view model. First, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the toolbox, and you're just going to get a normal dummy. So I'll just switch one up over here. And you want to make sure it's R6. So I'm just going to use this one. And then I'm just going to name this dummy view model. I can next out the toolbox. And now make sure the primary part is set to the humanoid root part. And now if we go in, we can delete. And now we just have the humanoid root part, the humanoid, the left arm, and the right arm. Now you don't have to do this, but um, I'm just going to scale my arms to make them a little bit longer. Like this. I know it looks a bit weird, but it's going to look like this in the final product. And now you can just start uh, rearranging and ro rotating everything to make it the position that you want. For me, I'm just going to have the um, character holding a flashlight. So I'm just going to get a flashlight from the toolbox. I'm going to take this flashlight. All I need is the uh, handle. Take the handle. Now I'm going to take the handle, put it in the view model. And I'm going to attach it to the arm. But first I'm going to rotate my arm and make it look like the person's actually holding the flashlight. Oh, and you can also change the transparency of the humanoid root part to 1 to make it completely invisible. Now once you got your view model all set up, you're going to make sure that everything inside the view model is anchored and that can collide is off. And then you're going to put it inside of replicated storage. And now we're going to use a view model script. And this particular script was actually made by Gaming Mate. So a huge thank you to them. So basically what the script does is whenever you render a step, it will automatically, um, I don't really know how to explain this because I'm kind of dumb, but um, what it does is it corrects the position every time you render a step so that it'll basically always be following your camera. And then this is where you can change the view model positioning. These are the angles and this is the position. And you're gonna have to make a slight adjustment to the script right here. So what you're gonna type is you're gonna type if player.character dot, I mean colon, wait for child humanoid. Now delete this humanoid right here, and now you should be good to go. And now we are inside the game, and <laughs> we have the view model here, but as you can see, it's kind of in a bad position. So if you just go back inside the script, you can change the positions right here. And that's how to make a view model in Roblox Studio. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!